Hey, right. Hello. So this is the van as it is. So we've taken out the bulkhead, which wasn't too hard. Uh, generally all bolts, um, apart from two shear bolts, that had to be undone. So that's what it looks like without the ply, the uh, bulkhead. Not quite sure how I'm going to make good all of the surrounding area uh, for the side or the seats. I'd really love to put both seats on captain seats, but I don't think it's possible. There's not a lot of gap. Uh, this is a as I've taken the like three quarter length. Uh, ply lining out. She is the professional model so I'm guessing that's why it's got the nice panels in to start with but uh, I've got to take them all out to be able to do all the insulation behind. Uh, so yeah that's that. She was used uh, for gardening previously so it's a little bit dirty. There's uh, holes in the wheel arch there and there that probably from the original ply lining set, obviously this one's all nice and spanky but it's all still going to be ripped out so I seal them, make sure that is leaking from there and not from behind there or, or anything but it doesn't look like it's tracking from anywhere else other than that hole uh, I'm going to alcohol wipe the, uh, the hole of the van just to make sure the panels are nice and clean and again that one's got two holes from the previous fixing kit but it's a bit dirtier it's amazing how big the wheel arches are. They really are huge. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that's this side. That's, I don't shine it up too much, but yeah, lots of light in here just from that one little home base bargain. So this is the window that's going to be a full one as a tinted window. So that will be done tomorrow, which will be interesting. And likewise with that one, which should be easy. And then this one's going to be interesting, I'm not quite sure, I haven't quite checked the measurements of whereabouts in the panel it fits, it stops. So uh, I'll have to have a, a word with him when I drop that off just to double check that. But yeah, it looks like we'll, uh, I'm hoping we'll have a lot of window space. And then we're going to have a four foot, just a normal double bed. So I'm hoping that will come either halfway of the... Uh, wheel arches or all the way. I just need to measure it out and double check. I'm going to do it from the very back of the van so the doors close flush so you're not going to lose anything down the side of the bed. But uh, yeah, so that's that's as she is so far. So this I realised works. Oh, I haven't opened her, so that's why it's not working at the moment. And then I've noticed that the bulb on that one's gone. That's why it's hanging off because I thought I'd try and pop it out and have a look whether we had a spare one because we've got lots of old minis oh, we've got old minis but uh, I thought they'd fit when they're a bit short so yeah so um, lots of cubby holes and things for the insulation and stuff so we shall uh, we shall see from here but this is as she is to start with I'm not quite sure about using this as a, a start obviously the floor needs to rip it up just to make sure we get rid of all the dirty bits that weren't quite cleaned uh, when the new ply flooring was put down but there you go, they just expect it to be used as a, another build as well maybe so I've taken the uh, lugs cargo security things out it was there, it is. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to fill them that one I'm going to have to take the panel up to try and get it, it's obviously just the way the, uh, the panels become pre-fitted and uh, I've taken the one off of there and off of there and uh, taking these off. I'm quite shocked of how bad condition these are. The floor underneath it is actually good considering they look really really rusty. I mean these, the front ones obviously was where it was dampest. <laughs> dampest. Uh, moistest. Um, but, um, but yeah the floor underneath them seems to be quite good which is nice. But yeah we'll just rip all the uh, I'll wait for the windows to be done in and I might leave the floor down as the last thing or the first thing, I haven't quite decided. I've got all the uh, sound insulation so once I've wiped all these down properly the primary is to get the I suppose floor insulation, sound insulation down 
and then put the floor back down maybe I might not use this kit obviously with so many holes in it and it not quite fitting so I'll probably use the template and make it a bit bigger but, um, but as a ply lining kit it was very nice of them to do just isn't really what we need and I'll make it a bit longer as well but yeah probably just use it as a as a good template for starts and, uh, and we shall see oh yeah there's a light it's full of bugs because it's been used for gardening everything's can't see but everywhere spiders lots and lots of spiders I'm hoping me being in here is just going to get rid of a lot of the spiders and slowly turf them all out a couple of little not sure whether they rusty bits and stuff to be treated and just make sure it's not going to break out behind your insulation or anything but yeah, so this is our, our H2L4. Didn't quite expect to go for an L4, but um, but yeah, that's what we've got now. It's got reversing sensors, so it doesn't really matter, which is always nice. Don't need to keep going until I go bump these days, which will be nice. But yeah, so uh, so that's it. She's um you probably can't see very well now, but yeah, she is the uh, professional one. So she's got Tom Tom, which will be lovely for while we're over in France. There's the bit of the, the top cabby thing, and there's the. I'm not quite sure what to use for this bit yet. It's quite a lot of storage space. If I can put a decent door on this bit, I might use it to. I wasn't sure whether to go for the Remis blinds as the full round cab, but obviously they still don't provide a lot of insulation. So what I think I'll probably do is just go for a um, a complete curtain. And just curtain it off instead uh, and then once the windows are in obviously I can get the curtains to fit fit to the windows right but yeah that's it this is uh, just day two of, uh, of what we've got so far right I thought I'd give you a bit of an update I've uh, just taken off the panelling quite carefully I haven't broken any of the studs I did crack one of the boards because I was just going a bit gung ho to start with before I figured the method but yeah literally push the board to create a bit of a gap put the screwdriver in leave it a little bit to put the long nose pliers in and then just work I was working them up towards the edge of the board that way at least you don't see too much of the marking on the board but yeah I didn't realize this hoping it comes out okay but that's really quite deep um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of cold air coming up from there. So uh, yeah, not sure about that. Obviously you've got another channel there, but that's, that's not too bad. And yeah, that goes all the way, I'm blocking the light. Uh, so all the way obviously feeds the lights. And you can't quite see, but even that one's quite deep. Oh, I did find something quite cool. I thought that these these are the mechanisms that uh, you push to disengage the door jam thing so that you can open it a bit more almost all the way around and uh, and yeah I was quite shocked when I popped the first one out that it is literally just that I stuck my finger in the hole and you can't feel anything so it obviously doesn't appear behind there to push until the doors all the way open but yeah I just thought I'd show you that that it is really just a very simple bit of plastic it's literally just caught on two three little tangs around the outside that holds it in the hole so if it's that simple when I put this back on I might space it off depending on whether it works or not might space it off a bit more so that it is actually flush because I'm just going to put a complete straight panel on top of over all of this to make it a flush door and then mount that back on top of it so we'll see how we get that to work but yeah I just thought I'd give you a don't be scared of taking these things out it is quite simple and, uh, and yeah they're both in good nick which is nice but yeah just thought I'd show you that as it's where I'm up to and yeah same with this, I'll try and make that a bit nicer with the new panelling. 
But yeah, so yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show you. Oops, just my floorboard squeaking. And my light's still holding up, so it's pretty good on the battery. Right, bye!